Hey, what's up everybody, Balrog here. As promised, I created one more PvE build around Vehicle Bearer. Uh, this build is more tankish than the other two and will sustain more damage if you like to play up close to the enemy. I'll show you the build itself and how to play it. So, if you prefer a tank DPS playstyle or just want to try it, uh, what you need to do when creating any tank build is to have an uh, armor stat or the blue stat in your gear. That way, you will have more armor and if you use a shield it will have a bigger tier and with that more stats like uh, armor and holster regen and shield health uh, also you may want to have a shield regen on your on your build that will increase the ability to sustain yourself during high intensity fights and since it's a tank dps you also need to put some red stats here and there and some offensive talent to get a pretty decent armor with decent DPS. So pretty simple, right? Well, let's put that notion in this build. If you're new to the channel and want to learn all the great builds, no matter where you are in the game, you can be a fresh level 40, an experienced player, or a casual player. It really doesn't matter, guys. Please subscribe to stay up to date with my videos and hit that like button if this video is helpful to you. Uh, because you guys are the one that matter. For the specialization, I'm using the technician to get that plus one tier, to get to tier six on my skills that we're gonna use in this build. And with that, I'm able to use one more piece uh, with the Rain main stat. And also it gives us uh, the artificer skill that periodically releases a drone and gives uh, skill efficiency only to the skills. For this build, we're going with pieces rolled with armor region and critical hit chance or critical hit damage to have the best of both worlds. Good armor and survivability and good damage. First, let's see the armor pieces. The mask we have is our first golem piece with armor regen rolled as well as critical hit chance to increase our damage output as well as protection from elite gear mod. The gloves are our second golem piece to get that 1% uh, armor regen for the two piece Again, roll with the armor region and critical hit damage. The chest pieces are only bellstone piece to get a 1% armor region. Uh, you want it to be roll with armor region and critical hit damage, uh, but I had no luck on the drop, so I'm stuck with that skill, skill haste. Not bad, but it's not the red set that we want. We use protection from elite for the gear mod, and as talent, we use the intimidate to increase. Uh, the weapon damage up close and personal by 35%. The backpack is the exotic memento that will help us stay alive with bonus armor and maintain a good DPS when picking up the trophies and getting the kill confirm buff. It really helps with this hybrid build because it has the red, the blue, and the yellow core attribute. Now the remaining pieces of this build will be the red ones to increase the damage. The holster is a Fenris to increase the assault rifle damage by 10%. The knee pads are the Fox Rayer knee pads to have that juicy damage to target out of cover. The skills we used are the Crusader Shield with tier 6 having 60% active regen, 250 shield health, and 40% holster regen. And our second skill is the Artificer uh, to regen that shield. Now let's see how the build works. Now since you have more armor, you can sustain more damage in general and using the Crusader Shield, you can get closer to the enemy and kill them with headshot. So the Eagle Bearer uh, tenacity buff procs and have that delay damage while you keep down in the enemy. And don't forget that every time you kill an enemy, try to pick the kill confirm trophy that will grant more damage and especially the bonus armor to proc your Intimidate talent to make even more damage in, in the whole process. Uh, this build is not uh, designed to outclass uh, in DPS. Uh, it's only to be effective in survival. If you want to know more about the Ego Bear, some quick facts and how to get it and how it works and two builds for it, check my previous video where I talk all about it. I will leave a link in the upper right corner and down in the description below. Be sure to check it out. So there you go, guys. Uh, with this video, I completed three builds that I had for the Eagle Bear. Uh, one uh, full DPS, one in the middle, and one more tankish. Uh, I hope I have 
show the power of the this exotic AR and convince you to use it or at least try it. I mean, it was it is really fun. As always, my friend, thanks for watching and click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, that will mean a lot to me and will keep me going and bring more content to you. As always, be safe, take care, and see you on the next video. Ciao!